if you guys give me five minutes, I'm going to show you RN from having messages like this. So your organization usage has exceeded the uh, included quota for the free projects of Superbase, uh, going from busting 35% above the egress limit and 33% uh, of my database size. Going from that to you owning my own uh, self-hosted Superbase um, instance. Uh, that I'm hosting on a KSR VPS from Namecheap, uh, which is $17.50 a month uh, for C four CPU cores, six gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of SSD in RAID 10, so uh, you will never lose storage, and 3,000 gigabytes of uh, bandwidth, um, which is uh, a lot more than what we can get from the free plan. So what I'm doing is using Coolify, which is uh, the I recently, uh, and basically hosting um, a CI CD pipeline on my um, uh, VPS. Uh, and what that allows me to do is uh, basically use the deployment from my Next.js apps like Versal. Um, and basically each time I commit and push to the branch, I will get uh, a new release of my app building. So I will get this right here and I will still get my full um, super base database. This took me about uh, one day and a half to set up and uh, it's well worth the time. Uh, the result, as you can see, is uh, still a super fast website. So you're gonna have a uh, big performance. Uh, largest content full pane is basically the video on my uh, homepage that is too large and I need to optimize. So the video that goes right here. But apart from that, we're getting pretty high speeds. Uh, both on mobile and you can see on desktop it's almost 100 so uh, still uh, very good uh, speeds and let me show you what's the uh, basically the difference uh, between those two plans um, so basically using uh, pass so platform as a service like Versal and Superbase uh, versus using my self-hosted VPS uh, which I'll show you right now so first up let's start with the pass so we got those two suppliers uh, suppliers which uh, is Versal uh, plus uh, Superbase with their uh, free tier, which is uh, using AWS uh, Micro Instance, uh, which is a small in instance uh, if you were ever to uh, use uh, virtual machines on uh, AWS. Um, so basically, we got uh, $27 Canadian for Versal per month if you were to upgrade to a pro, uh, pro plan, and uh, $33 um, per month um, with Superbase for their pro plan. Uh, and this is uh, about uh, $61 a month just for the database uh, and Superbase. So this is something that uh, is still pretty costly. And you still pay another $13 for uh, compute credits for Superbase, as you can see the picture right here. So they're going to make you pay $10 US to uh, get uh, compute credits so you can pay for your uh, instance and hours. Um, so those credits are equivalent to 730 hours of uh, of a small instance. Um, so that's for that. And for the bandwidth, you're getting about a thousand gigs monthly for Versal of bandwidth, 2, uh, 250 gigs per month uh, on Superbase for the micro instance. So that's with the propane. Um, and then uh, where does the next, it's just, it's not applicable to the service, but for uh, Superbase with their AWS Micro, you're going to get uh, two CPU cores, one gig of RAM, uh, 87 megabits of, uh, not megabytes, megabits of, um, of a disk IO. So your transfer rates are going to be super slow. Uh, and your file size, so for storing uh, S3 um, files and everything, 100 gigs, uh, 8 gigs of disk size. So this is for your database. So this is really not a lot. Um, and concurrent connections is basically 60, which is, it's okay, but it's very uh, limited. Um, and all those stats are based from their own website. So if you guys are interested, you just go watch their um, pricing information, but they tell you the baseline, the throughput, and uh, what each instance has uh, as specs. So you guys can go check that if uh, it's something that interests you. So what do we get? So we get fifteen dollars weekly, sixty-one dollars monthly, seven hundred hundred twenty uh, thirty-three 
uh, yearly, which is a lot of money for someone who's just an indie developer and trying to make ends meet uh, from their small app or something, or just for starting. I can understand that for companies, you don't even care uh, because the the speed at which you can deploy is so high that uh, the trade-off is uh, worth it. So let's go check for the self-hosted VPS option. What's um, the specs I'm getting and the cost I'm getting at? So like I said, I'm using Namecheek uh, KSR VPS, which is seventeen uh, fifty a month. Uh, no one-time fee, so no setting up fee or whatever. Uh, we're getting 3,000 gigabytes of uh, monthly bandwidth with four CPU cores, six, gig six gigs of memory, uh, 2,000 to 3,000 megabits per second disk I.O. I did a test right here with uh, HD Parm. Uh, and next we're getting 120 gigs of uh, SSD, so very fast storage. That's why the disk uh, I.O. is so high. And concurrent connections, well, it's basically based on uh, your other specs of the server, so we cannot really uh, put a scale to that right now. But the costs are $4.38 weekly, 17.50 a month, and $210 yearly. So you already see we went from $730 to $210, and this is not even talking about specifications of the server. So I wanted to do a comparison. So here's a comparison, right? So even at the start, you see the difference in price, right? So you got $200 and you're in the $700 range for uh, yearly. If you compare Namecheap to um, Versal plus Superbase. Um, and you also see the uh, differences in the solutions you're using. So their cost is 3.49 uh, um, times more expensive with Pass. Uh, you're getting uh, two times less score, six times less RAM uh about five times uh, less bandwidth uh about 28.75 uh times less um io and about 15x less this space with pass so um like in my case since i'm just starting and uh i'm i love uh doing computer stuff with uh, linux and everything i'm using ubuntu um the setup was actually fun to do uh, yes, it's less convenient than Versal and Superbase, but um, in my case, since I'm young and everything, I don't have a lot of money, so um, I'd rather take a, a lot more, a, a bit more of my time, uh, and that it costs less, um, because also it's not even talking about the overages fee, which is so high on Versal and Superbase. So, if you guys are interested in seeing, oh, I did that, uh, I could make a video about that. Uh, write in the comment Coolify if you want to if you guys want to see it, um, and subscribe to stay updated to uh, the video coming up for that. Uh,